<laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's like show them, show them. Yeah, black power, y'all. Woo! You know what it is, you know what it is. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Brian Jesus. The wisest and most powerful of all nerds. I just saw the Black Panther movie. One thing I found quite humorous and a little messed up, you know, black people gotta do it better, is that there's too many black people showing up lit at the movie theaters, you know, drinking and they were smoking weed inside the IMAX theater. And I'm surprised they like got by like the cop. He was like a white woman, you know, and I'm pretty sure she probably like just didn't want to smoke. It's like, okay, it's freaking uh, Black History Month. A whole bunch of black people come and come see like the, the Black Panther movie. It was like, we don't want no cop racist today because like they definitely, you know, have more than probable cause to get busted like you know they, they had actual drug paraphernalia inside the movie theater you know in the auditorium and they came in there smelling blades so it was just like ah you know as long as there's no guns i guess <laughs> you know i guess it's, it's okay i mean I, I mean but still like you know there's kids there you know what i mean we gotta set, you gotta set a better example for the kids all right we're gonna start with the plot essentially what i really appreciate about this movie is that it talked about social issues, especially like, you know, black social issues in relation to like, you know, Africa and where we come from and how we deal with each other. I really love how it touches on that and even how deep it goes. I mean, it's Disney, it didn't go that, that deep, but I would reckon to say it went as deep as maybe like a get out did as far as touching on like black social issues and where we stand. One thing I really also like about this movie is Michael B. Jordan as Eric Killmonger. It's kind of like Spider-Man Homecoming where you really begin to sympathize and almost root for the villain because there is a lot of justification in how he feels and what he is doing. I love how it kind of puts a, a gradation on the movie instead of like, you know, a definitive black and white. The undertones in Black Panther is a lot stronger than pretty much all other Marvel movies. I think uh, if it had just more groundbreaking action, and it does have great action, it would have been probably the best super movie of all. And it had like a, a much stronger start. It's an origin, it's an origin movie that evolves into something else along the way. And I really appreciate that in this movie. So it's not so much about being a superhero, it's kinda like an African Game of Thrones in a sense. <laughs> And, I, you know, even though, like, you know, I'm all about the Black Panthers, you know, um, and conscious of not, you know, I'm not so emotionally attached that I'm trying to say nothing's wrong with this movie, of course. Uh, I feel like some other superhero movies better than this one. And, like, you know, I'm emotionally uh, attached to Star Wars. I almost got into a fight with my uh, brother over Star Wars. We're both 26 years old. We about to get into a fist fight over Star Wars. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, Unintro's movie movies are, are really good. It talks about how black people, you know, should come together. Like, it shows, like, you know, the infighting and how we're, like, all, all, always truly united and bring the best of us, you know. How, it shows how we don't always connect with each other in the right way. Um, for example, you know, um, not to get too conscious here, like, but um, the guy, Dr. Bruce Watkins, said, you know, black people are going to spend $200 million to go watch this movie, which is the Black Panther but we don't always put our money in the right places. I'm not saying go watch the movie is bad, just support the great actors and people that work on this movie, but at the same time, if we come together uh, to raise $200 million like, for this specific Black Panther movie, you know, it shouldn't be hard for us to raise a million dollars to help, you know, causes, you know, domestic and foreign for our community. So that's a good takeaway from this movie and this scenario that we should all look at as black people, and people as a whole, you know, just to put our efforts where they are truly needed, and that speaks to like Wakanda's movie, and it speaks to, you know, real life as well. So I'm going on and on about Killmonger, but Killmonger really is the best superhero villain I think we've had so far in all of cinema. Like, it's, as far as fictional villains, like, he's up there with, like, Darth Vader. You know, Darth Vader has more movies on his side, but, you know, if, if he was, like, a longer-standing villain, like, I would, like, people would really go towards his call. He's kind of like... Not even really a villain, it's kind of like an anti-villain. He's like a black Vegeta in a sense. Like, he really does his character very well. A lot of just like, you know, it was a great switch that Michael G. Jordan had from being the human torch to Killmonger. I mean, night and freaking day. Like, he's been killing it in pretty much every movie he's been in, you know, since like, you know, Creed. Like, he's, he did better in this movie than
than he did in Creed. Like, I mean, I, Chad was both did an awesome job. Don't get me wrong. So that, like every other actor in the movie killed their roles. But in my opinion, Michael B. Jordan really was the star in Black Panther. I think you would agree as well. Like, he didn't have that much screen time early on. But when he comes in, he comes in like full force and just steals the show. I mean, a bunch of people from like, you know, um, all kinds of movies. Like, the, the one cat from freaking, uh, um, Get Out was in the movie. Yeah, you know, he was, you know, of course, you know, like, it was this car for his movie to fill. It did so many things right overall. Like everybody in the movie was like really killing their roles. Um, every time Michael B. Jordan or Eric Killmarger movie like speaks, it's like he's about a battle rap or something like that. Like it kind of shows the you know the cool African tribal sound with Chadwick Boseman, and then you just have like the you know the modern you know black hip guy with Michael B. Jordan, and you see all those two like kind of connected. The dialogue. And the spirit between the two is like so awesome, and I really appreciate that touch in the movie. And I, I, I can even relate because you know, believe it or not, I even come from African royalty, the Khmer tribe. Um, one of my uncles is actually a, a king over there, uh, called by Khmer. So when I go back, you know, to Sierra Leone, I wanna, I wanna challenge for the storm. To be honest with you, you know what I mean? I, I expect Killmonger on that. I mean, I'm not born in the United States and whatnot, so my opinion doesn't matter. But you know, hey. <laughs> Why not be, you know, see, you see you see the name right here, you know, King Kamara is where it comes from, it's real, you know, it's, it's not fabricated. So I, I can, I totally connect with Killmonger's perspective as far as, you, and I think anybody will watch the movie, you know, because it, it brings a lot of social issues and some deep things that you don't normally see in, in superhero movies. And that's how you really make a great superhero movie nowadays, is to have the villains as intriguing, if not more intriguing than the heroes themselves. It really creates that dynamic that's needed in superhero movies, especially moving past the uh, 2012 age of like the standard Avengers. Uh, that's one thing. For example, the um, DC, the, G, the, the DC movies lack, or like the great villains, the great characters. You don't have like that story with you know Wolfenstein and whatnot, or whatever the movies of Zod. Uh, Man of what any one of the DC movies from you know Just Ass League or Suicide Squad, it didn't have any really great intriguing villains that that meant something that left with a great impression. But it's the complete opposite with the Black Panther from Claw to Killmonger. It shows depth and personality in these villains, and you connect with them, or like you appreciate every time they're on screen, they're entertaining to watch and to interact with other characters. You know, the villains really have to matter. Um, Black Panther is definitely one of the very best superhero movies that ever came out. Top three, in my opinion, I'll pit out, we'll have like Civil War be number one, uh, I'll say Avengers number two, Age of Ultron be number two, and then the Black Panther movie. The reason why I feel like Black Panther is good, the other two is because, for example, the other two, they started off stronger. You, know, you got to bring in that strong action to lead to get people like immediately plunged into the movie. And you got to bring in that good narrative. And I would say that the action isn't as strong during the movie. Even though it is great, it isn't as strong or as special as... Or the choreography isn't as amazing as it has been in other Marvel movies. It's, it's great. It's awesome. It's just nothing too groundbreaking, and it has its, yeah, it has its unique and special moments in of itself. I would say like in Doctor Strange, for example, was more unique as far as action and choreography than like the Black Panther in that regard. It, I, Black Panther, I believe, is a much is a better movie than Doctor Strange overall, especially regarding the story. But it didn't quite have the groundbreaking visuals and effects that to carry it. You know, you know it has some really great effects. But it wasn't as spectacular, I feel, as a Doctor Strange movie. I do feel that uh, that Black Panther is better than, for example, the last three Marvel movies to come out, which were Thor, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Guardians of the Galaxy. The reason uh, for is better than Spider-Man Homecoming, for example, the Spider-Man Homecoming wasn't violent. It didn't have the death in the movie. You know, characters died to really push that sense of responsibility and kind of ground you and put the pressure and urgency like on the characters as well as the viewer and Black Panther definitely had that above the last three Marvel movies you know the death the, the loss the stakes was much higher in this movie it's pretty much on the same scale as like maybe a Civil War maybe better in that regard
guys know that Spider-Man is my most favorite superhero of all time, and Spider-Man didn't throw a single punch in that movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. That's unacceptable for a movie to come out in 2017, and the, the main character doesn't throw a single punch, and it's Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man, as much as I love Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming cannot be the best Marvel movie by any means if the main character doesn't throw a single punch. I'm not going to stand for that. And that's just, like, is one clear way to put a separation between Spider-Man Homecoming, which is a great movie, aside from, like, your Black Panthers. Um, like, even if you're, like, in the clan, like, you would still like this movie. That's how good it is. I mean, it shows a lot of great culture and just, it's hip, it's funny when it needs to be. It's, it, it throws a, a couple things out, out of left. It's brilliantly orchestrated in such a way that it's hard for you not to get captivated in this movie. Even if you're the most hardcore DC fan. I know a bunch of people are going to watch the movie and become even bigger fans of Black Panther and probably want to pick me some comic books. So, you know, I got you every time I do a video about comic books and have reading recommendations and the Black Panther is no, upset, yeah, no exception. So the links will be in the description below. He has a current comic book that's out right now that's really good. And I'll even give some of the old and classic ones you can get into as well. So in closing, I'm basically going to have to give this movie an A+. I'm not trying to be to over glorify. I really think it's like the movie is very well done. The acting is top notch. It's great Easter eggs. It's solid all around. Great action. But it's kind of hard to compete with. Like, you know, uh, Civil War is basically like not even just a, a standalone superhero movie, it's an Avengers movie. As a standalone superhero movie, then I definitely would have to say that Black Panther is most like the best superhero movie that we had thus far. Anyway, guys. Um, don't forget to check out, um, if you haven't seen already, my top 10 black Marvel superheroes video that I made last year. And don't forget to check out, uh, other comic book related content on my YouTube channel. This is your boy, Brian Mises, the wisest, most powerful, all nerds. I will see you guys next time.